Just how long a video can I put up on YouTube? Let's find out. It's a 2v2 on a map that I've played a fuck ton lately. And that's me and Marky. And that's a good luck, have fun from name. That's awesome. That's awesome. We might have somebody who's polite. And I wish him the same because I'm also polite. And a little banter going up between the teams. Production tab. Nothing happening. We'll just move it up. Not to na da 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 and then nothing interesting, vague scouting overlords, I've just left mine there, I should work on my scouting. Oh, there's a unit coming to scout, maybe I'll slow it down and see what he sees. Alright, so I've seen that. Let's see, I'll go to kill me. Player camera. Player camera. Oh wait, I've obviously just left him there. So I'm just showing you what I see, I see his spawning pools up. Um, I think mine's also up. Which color am I? Purple. Oh, that sucks. So I can see that he's going for his orbital. I can see he's got his orbital. I tried to escape, and I do suck on that. And I assume that was a reactor. I think it has that reactory look. I see his drone coming back from scouting, so what did they see on us? They saw that I am a Zerg and I have a spawning pool. And that uh, refinery was going down and he's got an overlord here that could come into come into play is that an early expansion we'll find out let's switch to everybody view and leaving it at production some zerglings coming out from name and yes fast expand baneling nest where is he putting that putting it at the back of his of his hidey hole I should be sending an overlord down this end and scout the balls off him then I could see it. Oh, they've got a Banely nest. Watch out with your Marines, super squishy Marine guy. That's Darren. So, both of us are expanding. Nut. And in pretty much the same place. Who's that? Mine's 45, the 6 is. Four. Huh. I actually expanded slightly before him. But it should rock up at nearly the same time. That's nice and synchronized. Only I didn't get Banelings. I just went for Roaches. Um. Does anybody know how many banelings it takes to take out a roach? I thought I saw somewhere that the number 8 was quoted, but that just seems a lot. My little zerglings getting stuck there. Bit of lag here, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have it on ultra extreme settings. Out come my lings to defend my hatchery. Um, I Redfern. Redfern. Redfern, that's a place. An armory in Starport. What's his issues? Melee attacks going down for name. I only get melee attacks if I'm attacking the Broodlords because I find Zerglings to be. what's the word? Shitty? Useless? Either of those. Basically, when I eventually get my evolution chambers, I'll usually get two and I'll research range and armor. Well, range attacks, I mean. Down goes my eventual lair. Actually, not long behind his lair. You can see how much we overlap compared to the Terran where, you know, infantry weapons versus starport and expansion. Where's this expansion been built? Engineering bay. So he's got infantry weapons too. Actually, wait. Wait. Ah, uh, I'm mixing up my Terrans. How fucking, how bad mannered of me. So I don't know where Mark is going to put that command center. Nothing hugely of interest yet. Is there a dangerous zergling ball around anywhere? Not really. It's got overlords checking expansions. As you do. As you do. Sensible man. Taking down the gold. Going to get an early gold. Um, not really greedy. We haven't scouted them. So go for it. Medivacs coming down from Marky. Medivac and Marine. It's so good. It's, too, it's better than it should be. Uh, we were searching siege tech, probably not yet. Outcome roaches need to get shared control on that wall so you can walk your units out, or else just make more units out here. Um, let's see income harvesters are all with the red guy. Uh, I follow close behind Zerg to be honest. Zerg have to have more harvesters. They have to spend more money, they have to make more money to 
stay in a fight compared to the rest. Uh, that's not whining, that's just fact. Vehicle weapons coming down from Blue Guy. I don't know if I ever get vehicle weapons. He's getting banshees though, you know what banshees mean. Sneaky cloak play on the sea. Hasn't research cloak. Where we got? See, that's the problem with Zerg. The creep spread messes with your building placement. And uh, he's not researching cloak. Um, Terran expand going down. Oh, Marky with a nice drop. Good thing I came over here. So it looks like this expansion will be cancelled. Will it be cancelled? No, not cancelled. So that's 400 resources lost. That's a pain in the hole. Terran guy is going to be pissed. Take down that queen. No, he loads up at the loss of two marines. Does decent amount of damage. And yeah, he's putting down a spore crawler now. But I think that drop paid for itself. 400 resources lost for the Terran. The Terran has been set back a lot. Out comes a little siege tank, no siege mode. Oh, he's got like two little groups. That's very fancy. That was very organized of him. Meanwhile, what have I got? Some zerglings and roaches. I assume I'm getting hydroden. Hydroden. Hydroden's already got. Hydrolisks are on the way. So I'll, I'll get my double gas. Need to go gas heavier. And that guy's annoying the shit out of me. He can s totally see that I'm still mining at my main. And that's good info to know. Need to research grooved spines. Hydras need the range. And it's fucking freezing here. Excuse the language. Um, not much more space for the Terran to expand. So I might just ninja this one as well. Marky with the second orbital, 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 not actually expanding. He may take gold when, it, when we come to get it. Um, if you take gold, planetary on this map because the front's exposed, this is relatively easily defended, and actually so is. Not really. You could probably put a forward force around here, in their case around here and help defend that approach but um, you need to get a guy in the tower don't have a guy in the tower kinda stagnating now, mute is coming out for red guy so that's gonna be a pain but I'm I'm, I'm kinda ready for air attacks getting my roach hydra army I do like the roach hydra army, nice mix I'm expanding again because I have the minerals and I might as well be mining more if I'm making another hatchery and down goes double evil at last um, I should have been researching that earlier but groove spines coming up movement speed for roaches coming up both important upgrades pretty much if you're going roach hydra you should definitely have at least the movement for roaches if not the tunneling claws which makes them last a lot longer in a fight uh, if you're going with zerglings you need metabolic boost and you need to upgrade your melee no upgrades on the air, but the ground have metabolic boost and plus one claws. Fuss is das. Ah, just observing that he had taken our Zelnaga. So moving out to reclaim that Zelnaga and finally have the front of our base. We're actually very insular here. So my little Roach Hydra army ignored the Zerglings because I certainly did. We're searching 1-1 one, one and putting down a spore crawler. A where? My expansion? Yes, expansion 1 and expansion 2. Spore crawler each because you have to. Meanwhile, it's got a nice little mutable. How many? 11. Plenty of queens. Shit. I like to have one queen per base to do my little quick larvae sprouting thing. And so I can you can see he's taking damage, but he'll be probably fully healed by the end of the game. Uh, we know that he's there. Yes, Marky has taken the gold and he's got full mules on. Holy shit, what's that making his income? Well it's not as high as well it is in fact. It was temporarily as high as a three base. So nearly mined out on one base. In fact, 
must have switched over a lot of SCVs. There you go. So yeah, look at that income. Two and a half on essentially one and a half base compared to two and a half base. I'm missing a lot of action, aren't they? Where was that? Uh, nope, I wasn't missing a lot of action. I heard the firing and I thought, oh my god, they're doing stuff. Look at all the research. Centrifugal hooks, flyer attacks level 2, so they're level 1 now? One attack, melee, melee attacks level 2. This could be dangerous. This ball of mute is looking all the more dangerous by the second. Nearly up to the 16. I don't know how many you need against Tarrant. Enough to break, break the Thor monopoly, but just Marines here. Combat shields. Dim, not researched yet. Make another expansion. Uh, there's a ping going down from... Who's purple? Me. What was I saying? I was saying that we should take out the thing. Oh, an attempted Zergling run by. Um, not good against my army. When you look at the army tab, I've got the most expensive army. But it's pure Roach, pure Hydra. Uh, units lost. Red is leading the way. Down goes the Overseer. He shouldn't go down so quickly. Looks like there will be an engagement. Look at all the stuff that Red is building. Oh man, taking out, taking down those, taking down the creep spread, and in come the zerglings doing shit all. They can only attack the front units. Everybody in my ball can attack the zerglings, and down come the mutas. I have to come back. I have to defend. Attack, attack. Some mutas been taken down. Sure, or he has to retreat. I think he put too much focus on roaches. Oh, the Terran guy's coming in, and he's gonna melt away my army few banelings there are doing great. Uh, Mutalisk getting chased by the marine army. Uh, my army's toast there. We'll see what happens to mutas. The mutas have been taken out by the Terran compatriot of mine. So a costly engagement for me there but um, ultimately I think worth it. That overseer is going to go down. Oh good siege tanks here. A little TVT action and well that was quite one-sided man siege tanks on the Zelnaga that was delicious their range is slightly more than their sight so combining them with the Zelnaga surprisingly effective and um, my army's completely toasted red army was completely toasted he's got some reinforcement zerglings very cheap to make only two mutas back so far uh, blue army uh, enemy Terran army was also completely toasted but now he's got a few Thors which would be very effective if I only had mutas and like links like this guy he's basically he's made a decent counter to his teammate but I've gone ooh, nearly pure Hydra there I shouldn't have gone pure Hydra I'm gone Hydra Roach look at the upgrades I'm getting attacks missiles level 2 He's upgrading his vehicle weapons, which will make his mech army a lot more effective. Look at that. 19 damage. Oh, 21 now versus... Oh, shit. So, those siege tanks are going to smash those roaches. This Thor is going to smash everything. Corruptor is in play. Uh, is he researching a greater spire? Where's his spire? Where's his spire? It's there. It's still just the normal penis. So my almost pure hyd Hydra's very effective attacks, 13 damage every 0.83 compared to 11 damage every 1.52. Oh, but Banelings, Baneling damage. Oh no, those Marines are going to get smashed. Oh dear god. But my Roach is tanking some of that damage. And there goes their gold. That will help. That will help. See if that drops their income much. Actually, Marky's income is very low too. Um, but mule mining will made up for that. Some good infester play by the enemy. But something that doesn't happen much. But when it does, it's great. Our um, hydras are being supported by medevacs. But we've got to get out of there. That siege tank is doing well far too much damage to splash on that is ridiculous so a bit of an old retreat but um, not too bad engagement wise the red zerg is hurting but he's also making the most money 
And the rest of us are relatively even. I've lost a fair bit of money. I've gone for expensive 1.5 to 2 tier units. Uh, compared to his masses and masses of zerglings. And, well, when you're Terran, all you have to do is make a load of marines to be to stay in the game. Medivacs, of course, are handy. Um, not the greatest spread on those things. Uh, thinking about it, if I had a burrowed infester, I could burrow up and launch my infested marines in a ring around this these guys and they would splash damage each other to the point where it would be hilarious uh, so what's a doing? who's making what? I'm getting my level 3's up so my roach hydra army will be pretty potent and I'm researching greater spire also I say also because boom his is up where are his corruptors? Where are they? Where are they? They're not there. I'm sure he had corruptors. Actually, we can see his units tab. There's corruptors. I can't just double click corruptor and find them. Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, he has corruptors and he will be corrupting up a storm shortly. Let me look at unit production. I'm still researching 3 3. Come on! Come on! Uh, Marky getting vehicle number two, getting up his infantry weapons to sensor tower. I do like friendly sensor towers. That is pretty much shut down on his mutilisk play. Um, Red's on too many bases. We need to stop him taking too many bases. They've out expanded us, both of them. That is heavily saturated. That is too heavily saturated. It's not cost efficient. He should try expanding there. I think, actually, I think the sensor towers put the enemy off from expanding. Because like, oh, I can't expand there. He's going to know. Like, well, dude, you're going to have to do something. You're working off what? He's on one base, and he's so heavily saturated that half of those SCVs are pointless. Seriously. That, that many is more than enough. That many is saturated. And that many extra is just stupid. Roach and Hydra, why change what's working for you? That's what I say. Near, nearing a 200-200 army? How, how's Red doing? He's got a few Broodlords. Oh, Broodlords. Oh, Broodlords. They're such a pain. Plus, he upgraded melee, so... Actually, Broodling Strike does damage. 24 damage. What about the Broodlings themselves? Must check that out. I'm sure the Broodlings do melee damage, so if you upgrade melee, that they do well. But I think the initial damage from a uh, Broodlord is counted as a flyer attack. Huh, I did not know that. 9.5, range 7. Any tanks still sieged up? Nope. You're sieged up. Your range is 13. So, outrange Broodlords, but can't attack Broodlords. Uh, here come the Broodlords. They're getting overextended. No, they're not. If I had a unit on there, I could see. There they are. He's attack move the Broodlords. They're not supported. That's a bad idea. I just have to move my Hydras in under them, and I can take them out. They're a very expensive unit. I pull back, though, for some reason. I think I'm going to have to slow it down. Big engagement here. Lots of Zerglings soaking up splash damage from those tanks. Those tanks ripping into those Thors. Broodlords, meanwhile, I mean, we're having a Broodlord on Broodlord fight, but my Corruptors are in to try and roll over them. Broodlings, uh, not Broodlings, Banelings! That's, that's horrible massacre happening there. But uh, his Broodlord's been taken out by my Corruptors, now he's coming in with a shit ton of Infestors. Uh, they fungal the tanks, it's not very effective, the tanks are going to do very bad damage to these guys. They fungal the Broodlords. Again, that's not hugely effective. Fungal is an anti-marine spell. So his Broodlords did a fair bit. But um, they're getting mopped up far too easily. Trying to send in... Oh, infested Terrans. This is not good. If those siege tanks hit those guys, I'll be in trouble. But... My clump doing alright. Zerglings come in. Oh, I was afraid of splash damage. This was a pretty hectic fight. And oh, a heavy siege line there. 
I must back off. The Broodlords would take that out, actually. Maybe I should move them over. Oh, he's Miss Rally. If I can get that Miss Rally, I can take out a few Thors. No, not catching the Miss Rally in time. Oh, but the Broodlings making them splash his own units. That's beautiful. A lot of that damage coming from his own siege line, and he knows it. He's unsieging. You can't have a siege line with Broodlords. I think that's half their potency, is in the fact that they absolutely own with friendly fire, causing friendly fire. A uh, random infester out there, those Broodlords attacking my Hydras. Down goes the Hydras, retreat, sham retreat, you fucking retard. Uh, that, that force is gone. Uh, where is the rest of my force? Down to just a few Hydras, I've plenty of money, surely. Yes, I've adequate money for reinforcements, but I just need to get these Corruptors in. Oh, too many enemy Corruptors, I need to pull back my Broodlords. Save me, Broodlords, save me. Coming back to behind the missile turrets and Hydras will help. I just gonna take down those corruptors are anti-air only. He pulled them back. I think he could have sniped them if he had committed. Could be. Looks like we're gonna lose this engagement and hopefully not the war. Just attack moving your siege tanks into my brood lords. That's not sensible. Here comes the steam. Losing nearly all my brood lords. Two of them left. Gonna hide behind. Uh, at siege line combined with all oh, those brood lords overextended for sure five six brood lords I think absolutely smashed and that's fantastic um, yes broodlings do melee damage so well I can speed it back up now I guess because it's gonna be quiet for a second lots of corruptors he can make a shite ton of brood lords there you go actually he's gas blocked gasping for it. Corruptor's overextending himself. I can still, we can still see, oh that's a very tenuous expansion right there. That's, his hold on that is very slim. There's a siege tank outside. A 2-3 siege tank, so I've never seen somebody vehicle upgrade so well. Those, many broodlords. Seven broodlords could have mopped up that expansion, but apparently not not their destiny. Um, siege Lion's going to get absolutely red. All my Hydra's moving in. They have to be careful with those Siege Tanks. There's some splash damage going down. Um, losing a lot of Hydra's to friendly fire. But we have taken down, I think, two or three or four or five of the Broodlords. So, mark on sieging there sensibly. And there goes the Broodlords. That was an expensive, expensive attack for him. He's gas. He doesn't have the gas to create Broodlords in the same numbers. Um, I do. Um, I don't know why I'm not. Probably too much to take in. I'm trying to rebuild my Hydra Roach army. And it looks like Blue's finally expanding. And he's expanding over here. That's unfair because I would have liked to have expanded there. Meanwhile, what have we got rolling in? Mutalisks. Not going to do a whole lot. Slight harassment maybe. Zerglings, not going to do a huge amount either. And oh, there's my drones. They want to mine there. Let me mine there. Oh crap! All his SCVs here, and they're coming in. And it's uh, it's a weird kind of SCV fight. But oh no, Mark is here to save the day, and they are getting roasted. Oh dear, Blue is it pretty much out of the game at this stage if he loses all of that. Damn, down to one base, and if we get that one base, actually, yeah, he flew up his less CVs there, idling away. So he's mined out of his main, his first, his, I guess that was his third, got taken out. So he's down to one base, and he must be hurting. Let's see, income tabs, Marky again quite low. Where are all those SCVs? They're nowhere to be found. Still mining from his main, no. Uh, not too heavily saturated. I think he lost most of his 
income from the gold area. But he still has the money to build up some SCVs. He's probably m just mule mining now, which is always helpful. Oh, Redfern's gonna get caught out. Oh no, Redfern. Rallying his siege ease. A fucking ballsy SCV going in trying to attack. Thor versus upgraded siege tanks. I think upgraded siege tanks are gonna win. But, um. Uh. Zerg reinforcements coming in. 3 3 Hydra Roach with Brood Lords. I think that's pretty damn effective. So. That's actually his last base. So. Let's see. What to do? He's got enough money to build another one, but does he have SCVs? Yes, he does. He's got five SCVs. There's two of them. And there's two of them. There's one. He's rebuilding his base, and he's not been revealed. Meanwhile, a spine colony, colony I'll call that. Uh. So yeah, they can definitely defend this. I'm just running by. I can take. I can tank the damage. Marky deciding one marine is certainly enough to take that. And riskily, I've taken this expansion, even though he's right beside me here, and he's nearly mined out. And um, Blue Terran has rebuilt his base. Meanwhile, Brood Lords are going to mop this up unless they move, unless they make a move. Um, all these excess minerals must be just going into spine crawlers, and they're absolutely useful. Um, unless there are broodlords on the field, in which case they are... Oh, he's mined out! Uh, is he mining anywhere else? He... <laughs> he's apparently is. Down to 80, 40, 20, 0. He's not mining any minerals anymore. So, no longer can he willy-nilly spend them on short, short-term zerglings. And he roasts Besides the sacrifices, Zerglings, I don't think that's enough to take that out. Uh, building 30 more Zerglings, 3 more Corruptors, but has he, he hasn't got the gas to support. Well, he's certainly mining enough gas. 54 Harvesters, and he's only mining 460-odd gas. He's only on gas. All his Harvesters. Look at all these guys. How many are there? Uh, well, minus one. So nearly 24 there. That's a lot. I could probably move in actually here and there's nothing to do here. Just take out production. Uh, oh no, the banelings! Oh, the banelings! Oh, the banelings! The banelings are gonna roast this army. Just you wait and see. Just you wait. This is gonna be horrible. This is this is gonna hurt so much. Here come the banelings! All of the marines are dead. Oh, uh, a lot of roaches tanking some damage, but all the hydras within range going down. The marines coming in to try and mop up, but there's not much mopping up they can do when they are outnumbered. More banelings! More banelings! When in doubt, baneling bust out. And he's got a ring of spine crawlers there, which are absolutely useless if I come in anywhere other than there. Um, I don't know why those guys are there. I think that's an oversight. Still doing a fair bit of damage. Oh no, the banelings! Oh, the banelings! Oh, the banelings! Um, one hydra left, and one roach left. And those banelings attacks might have cost them a bit, though. As you can see, he's he and I are leading the field in units lost. Well, certainly resources anyway. 720 units lost. Jeez, I don't think anyone else has even built 720 units. But that's the power of building a shite ton of Zerglings and using a shite ton of Banelings. A uh, nice little siege line here for Marky. What's this? Zergling attack? Zergling surprisingly effective against siege tanks. What's this, though? He's long distance mining my expansion. What a cheeky, cheeky bastard. I don't know if he knew that that was there. But, um, any kills in that queen? Just one? Come on, that's can't be having this. So that one roach and one hydralisk that survived. 
decide to make themselves MVPs and take out all of his mineral mining. And the Broodlord's certainly helping. Look at all those Broodlings. That's a massacre. Massacre. He's got nothing. He's... Oh, he's even rallying him from the other side. Almost got me. Okay, I've switched to mostly air here now because those Baneling attacks really fucked me up. So now in comes the air attack. Meanwhile, Hellions. Very early tech unit, but can be effective as getting. Oh, he could catch those spine crawlers. Oh, how many is he gonna get? None. Gonna roast that queen though. Better watch out for the air attacks. And broodlings not very effective against other broodlings because they're both pointless units. And look at this, the overlords coming in. The balloon barrage. Not very effective. Trying to sneak in corruptors behind it. Am I really going to fall for that? Apparently not. He's losing all the rest of his units. He's gone. It's a GG for him. Terran is excessively mined out. He has one <laughs> mineral. <laughs> a lot of gas though. Um, maybe they should have traded some gas. I'm just going to get my kills up on these guys. Many kills and you. Zero. Useless. One, three, two. So that's the end of the game. It's just winding to a close now. So what was the highlights? I don't know. Um, he moved all his spines here, funnily enough. Um, I assume he knew that I had an all-air army. So I could park my all-air army around about here. On, right on top of them. And then just go, I will straight up murder you all. Uh, GG. Here we go. Air army for the win. Actually, that one roach and that one hydra too, but never mind. R hydra and roach. Probably MVPs. Oh no! No, no, no! Don't do it, guys. You'll get killed. Oh, the roach is going to get killed. Oh, he got murdered. The hydra gets through, though. Oh, the hydra is a champ. Look at that. Taking the hard way around, but besides, you know, easy way is not for me. Oh, what are they? Like a patrol? No, just rallying. And that's it. There's the GG. Nice and polite of them. Will that Hydra live? Come on, Hydra, you can do it. Live to the end of the game. Uh, and that's it. Game over. That Hydra is the man of the match. A Ravager, if you will. That was a fun little 2v2. And we won the shit out of it, because we're awesome. Yay!